Welcome to what's going on with the Wagwag and the Rio. You're just here for another spooky, spooky, spooky night, and it is fantastic. We're just about ready to go in, and uh, a couple of the kids who came out and already went in saw this, and man, were they freaked out. Scared, as a matter of fact. I think that's the term we should use. I can't wait to get in there and check this whole thing out. From what I gather, this thing is almost Hollywood material and some real good work from uh, Mike Thomas here in the community. So there it is, we're here at Mike Thomas's skinny, skinny house. Let's get on in there. What's your name, buddy? Hello, Talking to the mic. You happy to be here? Yes. What are you looking forward to seeing in there? Uh, uh, big, big, big guy in the corner with long legs. Oh, oh, what's he called? What's his name? You don't know? A big head fat guy. A big head fat guy. That's his name? You're a police officer? Now that's scary. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
love it. <laughs> Folks, man, I just came out of this place. This haunted house is insane. Now look, I am a baby. It's true, it is. I can't handle the uh, the scary stuff. My daughter's gonna attest to it. I don't like watching horror movies. Smallest thing. Spiders scare me, for goodness sakes. In any case, fantastic. For those of you who like the thrill, this is the place to be. Unbelievable right here at Mike Thomas's haunted house. Here with you and uh, all part of Mohawk TV. Uh, and a wonderful evening uh, brought to you, by the way, from Mike Thomas right here in Gahnawaga, our old pal. Long time no see, my friend. Yeah, thanks for coming by. Not you know. at all. And of course, I get scared real easy. I don't understand it. Yeah. Eh, just a big baby, but really a nice setup in here. This is unbelievable. Let the folks know how much work went into that. Well, we did. There's about uh, 70 to 80 hours with uh, about 10 to 12 people constantly. Uh, we have over $20,000 worth of animatronics, which uh, has been acquired over the years. And, uh, you know, we've uh, originally did this going back to the days of Taekwondo yeah. school. And then uh, three years ago, we started doing it again out of my garage. And, you know, we picked the uh, organizations to donate to. And this year, we uh, picked the uh, Kateri Memorial Foundation. I get in there, I'm, I'm trying to figure out the animatronics and the people. So I think that's what kind of got me off guard, and you know, I'll get caught for that on camera. <laughs> One final thing, I know you have to get back in there and scare the kids. Cattery Memorial Hospital Foundation, they do need a lot of work and help, actually. Yes, they do. You know, in uh, the service they provide to the community and, and outside of the community, you know, uh, it, it's really great, great work. And, you know, with all the cutbacks by government, uh, you know, we have a responsibility to help out when we can. You know, so all, all of us involved here, this is our contribution to say, you know what, you guys are doing great work and we want to be part of that. Excellent. Thanks a lot, my friend. All right, thank you and have a great evening. Thanks for coming by.